Greetings and welcome to another video. Today we will be talking about inspired action versus effort and forced action when trying to manifest the desire. As always, I will try to explain everything in just 3 minutes. But now, let's get started. In the previous videos, we have talked about action and inspired action. Feel free to check them out. So, do we need to take action when manifesting? The answer is no, but let me explain. Will your desire simply fall into your lap? No. In the previous video, we have talked about action. And the only action you will need to take is to align yourself with the feeling of the wish fulfilled. To align yourself with the feeling of already having your desire right now. And the way to do this is with your imagination and assumptions. By creating a small imaginal scene and repeating it until you feel it real will create the necessary circumstances for each realization. The power of visualization is what makes events happen to bring you closer to your manifestation. Like small stepping stones, people and circumstances will formulate ideally to guide you to your manifestation. A bridge of events or incidents will lead you to take smooth action, almost like guided, unavoidable and smooth action. You will recognize this inspired action because it will be effortless. It will just happen naturally after the unfolding of specific circumstances. For example, if you are trying to apply for a better job, after having done the imaginal preparation, the action part, you may meet a contact that will recommend you to your dream company or offer you a position that is not yet published, resulting in you getting your dream job. Unlike inspired action, forced action does not come naturally. If an action does not come naturally to you, you are out of the assumed state and in a state of lack or resistance. You are not living in the end or having the feeling of the wish fulfilled. Stop trying to force the manifestation to happen by pushing or taking action. If an action is inspired, it will come smoothly. If an action is stress-ridden and you try to feed your brain with logical steps on how to aid the manifestation to happen, then this is forced. Leave in the end and stop wondering about how the manifestation is going to be realized. Your assumptions and state of consciousness will guide you, so just keep focusing on them. And that was the end of our video. Now, don't forget, you can always leave your comments and suggestions down below. And of course, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and of course, turn on the notification bell. Stay tuned for the next one.